to like it. We're here with the Vegas United fans still celebrating the Man United victory over Burnley. We're going to go over the player ratings. We're going to start now. What would you give Henderson? Henderson, uh, he's a little, he had a little rough start coming out, but I like I like the way he commands the box. I like yeah. his distribution. I think that's where you know his strong points are. And I think he's going to grow into it more and more. I give him, I give Henderson about an eight. I give him about an eight. You know, there was a lot of good things he done. Seven for me. I mean, just from that first goal. I mean, it was offsides, but he came out for it, missed it. Ten seconds in, and you got to, you know. And after that, he kind of looked a little shaky. Yeah. But <laughs> it was he put, once he put his cap on, <laughs> the second half, I was yes. like, even, even with the cap, because yeah. he ran into Lindemann. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut. It. No, no, no. no. I mean, you think about right. it. So right. you give him a seven. A seven. Yeah, I'm in the same range. He's, it's, six would be too harsh, so I'm going to give him a seven. Um, he definitely want like, I wanted him to be the, the Henderson that I, I know he is, but I think he let himself down by, by not communicating well enough. Yeah, yeah trying to. Hard, okay. So. One Basaka. Oh, come on. I mean, he's, he's a nine. Yeah. All day. Yeah, I would say. I mean, he didn't put a foot wrong. I don't think in my eyes. He had a yellow card that probably shouldn't have been a yellow card where he tried to pull out and he, you know, the ref still gave him a yellow card, but they couldn't get a yellow card on their team. I think the same thing. I can't argue that. I mean, I like Wambasaka. The kid is solid. (laughs) He's solid. He's solid week week in and week out. I mean, no matter what team they put on that. And he put in a couple good crosses today. Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw. Nine as well. Yeah. Money. Yeah, I think we got the two best full You guys are very generous. Back in Texas, they've been giving that sevens and six point yeah, fives and six point two. Bemi's not here. Bemi's not here. But, so. but I'm thinking too. You, you look at I mean, solid game, spectacular. But, I mean, but they're solid, solid defensively, solid going forward. Good crosses in the box. You know, no one getting beat, no one getting yeah. skinned there. And that's what things do. You look at the fullback pair that we have. I mean, it's very balanced and stuff. And yeah. Basakas, in every game and everything, he gets better going offensively. His balls are getting better. But solid, I know. I mean, there ain't a a player in the league that can skin. In the world that can soccer. tackle better than yeah. that guy. And then for me, um, I'd give him a nine. Um, <laughs> the the only thing that, I, the only reason why I wouldn't give him a ten is because uh, it seemed like there was a, a lack of continuity between him and, um, uh, who's that, uh, McGuire. Mm. They, they seem to be in the same uh, area at the right. same time. But he saved us from a goal, actually, twice. Okay. So, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely that. Luke Shaw. No, give me Luke Shaw. That was a, no, we just did Wamasaka. We did, we, I thought we just did Wamasaka. Yeah, Wamasaka and then we went to shop. Yeah, so okay. I just did Lindelof. Shop. Lindelof, yeah. Uh, Lindelof. <laughs> Don't be shy. Six. Six. Ooh, six. That's hey. That's hard. It was, yeah. yeah that's hard. I say seven. I mean, he seven. had that ball in for Rash that, you know, he touched it around the goalie and Rash went down. Um, and they seem to have some kind of connection. He can play the ball back, yeah. you know. He always has his moments, but I, I I believe in him. I think he's maybe not the the number one you know partner from a going forward, but I, I like him as a player. I think he's a solid player, European player, and you know I think he gets a lot of slack. But today he wasn't at his best that he played. I mean I'm I'm, I'm not as hard as I'll give him a solid eight. The thing with Lindelof, he's like he's very much like a daily blend. <laughs> He's, he's, he's not a super athlete, right. but he knows the game mentally and stuff like that. I mean, you know, the communication with Henderson, and I think, and then we'll go back, we already rated Henderson too. But we got to remember, Hem- Henderson just coming into this team. Yeah, yeah. He's still not, needs to get used to the players. He's, exactly, he's, 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 he's yeah. establishing himself. So we'll get that, but it's promising, and that's the right. thing for his potential. You got to remember our first couple years with De Gea, he was all over the place. Oh, Jesus. All he was terrible, bro. Yeah, first all season. over the place. Yeah, Center but, forwards were bullying this guy exactly, off the ball. Even right. Clint Henderson Dempsey, was yeah. who wasn't even six exactly, foot. Exactly, but, yeah. you know, Henderson, you know, but Henderson he has, really he controls jersey. the box. You know, he's got a little bit more muscle. He's got that English attitude. Yeah. He, he, he gets stuck in, so there's a lot of yeah. things. And then once the players know, he'll command the box and potential. I mean, the one thing with Lindelof, I said, he's got it. If he runs it. over Lindelof four more times, yes. I bet you Lindelof will not go for that Exactly, ball but the thing is, too, I mean, but Lindelof, he saw it. He's a, he's a footballer. Yeah. Right? He's not a super athlete, but he's a footballer. He's got, I said, he very much reminds me of Daily Blinn. Right. Not super fast, not super but, fast, he's, he's, but he knows the game mentally, so yeah. that's good. I'll give him a solid eight. Maguire. Maguire, I'm going to give him Maguire nine. I'm, I like Maguire. That's his boy. Yeah, he can pass. <laughs> he can pass. Would, he can do it all. He can do everything. I would, I would give him an eight just because of, like, the goal. The goal he can see. Hey! Tell me I said is You! <laughs> I'm doing the eight as well. Okay. I think he could have been a bit stronger. Right, on the ball. Uh, we, we're not going to, you know, United don't get no 
don't get calls yeah, like that. Do. So right now, why, why, why go down? Right, like we'll move to the midfield. Fred. Uh, I, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Say it as it is, mate. Say it as it is. Hey, Fred for me was a five. Okay. Bang average. Bang average. We move along. I mean, you you gave me five too. You brought up at halftime. Half half Something's wrong. I'm gonna give him a seven. I mean, oh, you are so generous. I'm not generous, but listen, listen. He had a lot of interceptions. Listen, with you. people watch the game. You gotta watch the game. Yeah, the he had a game. lot of interceptions. He did. Yeah, he he stopped a lot of things. He had a lot of good tackles. And he actually had a decent passing game today. That's usually where Fred downfall is decision making and passing. Yes. But he had a lot of things. He made he made a lot of recoveries. He made a lot of tackles. You know, and you got to see that. It's because he might have a bad moment here or there, but for overall, like I said, he made a lot. And I think that's why Ollie trusts him because he does, and I think people don't get noticed, that he does make a lot of interceptions. He had a lot of stops, a lot of fast breaks. And he is disciplined of not getting too far forward and stopping that counterattack when we lose the ball and we have the ball in the box. And I think a lot of that doesn't get seen. I think Ollie sees that. I mean, I question sometimes why. I mean, I'd rather have Van de Beek in there. But I think that's why Ollie picks him right. because he gets those unseen stops, those fat breaks, yeah, and makes those interceptions. Yeah. He sees those that sometimes go unacknowledged in his fans. McTominay. Oh, McSauce 9. McSauce 9. I think he had a bad game. Uh, I, I, mean, bad game. I mean, he didn't do – he, he broke up a lot of the play. I don't think he was very involved in much of the play today, you know – he was definitely a link to a lot of the other players that were more involved, Pogba and Bruno. He definitely was like that that off that off pass that you know they made it to McTominay, shot it off to someone else on the wing, and he played well. But I mean, it was a quiet game, I think, for him. Solid. I mean, he didn't have a yellow card, so I guess that's always decent. I'd give him an, I'd give him an eight, but that he could have made that goal. Mason put a platter, like put the ball right there on the. Platter. It could have just dinked it actually. I mean, just a little chip, and that, out, right it was a great save. But I mean, I understand he's a, he's, he's a midfielder. Pogba. Uh, Pogba. I mean, I'll give I'll put I'll give Pogba an eight today. I mean, he didn't really do too much, like like, like putting the foot yeah. wrong. But eight. yeah, I give eight. Eight. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna give you more. I'll give Pogba more of a seven. Ooh. I mean, I mean. I kind of agree with him. Yeah, think about like Pogba. He wasn't over involved. He kind of just kept this is it. Always with frust- I think frustrates us about Pogba. His potential is, yeah. is phenomenal. I mean, his potential is absolutely. He could be by far the best former center man that's ever. I mean, that's ever played the game. He has that potential, and we know he has that potential. But he tends to hold on to the ball too much. Too like, much. You gotta, you gotta realize when you got three players, you got two players on you, a third one's coming. You gotta follow them. Yeah, you, we either, either yeah. you gotta follow or you gotta get rid of it quickly. And that's the thing. I know, and I like that Ollie's trying to play him higher up the pitch now. Yeah, yeah. Because him trying to play like Mourinho played, Out all back. holding back, yeah, no always way. playing like a hardcore yeah, center mid. Mm. He doesn't, yes. and he doesn't like that position, and he doesn't thrive in that position. Yeah. I like that Ollie's forward. finally pushing him farther forward. And that you know, in a higher position, I think that's where he shines more, and I think that's where he prefers to play. Mm-hmm. And like I said, and, and we're seeing better out of him and more creativity at him. Uh, it's just that little thing is or? sometimes not holding on to the ball as much as he does. He turns the ball over more than, to me than he should, right? Because he's trying to do too much. It's really to that possession of not like releasing that ball quicker yeah, and no seeing the open player. Right, Bruno. 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 I said. He did a lot today. He tried to create it today, but honestly, and, and I love Bruno, and I think he's changed our game. But I give up Bruno a solid eight today. I would say the same. I mean, he's got high standards now. You know, if he's not, if he's at a nine, but he's not scoring a goal, then I mean, he, he that dummy for the first goal, just you know, but, but beautiful. Like you, you don't see that very often. Bruno. Uh, Bruno, for me, I think. Uh, I mean, until he does something ridiculous, he'll always have a nine for me. He's. Literally, he's literally saved our season. Oh, yeah, right. saved our team. Right. Why are you like that? He's brought a winning atmosphere. Rashford. I think Rashford had a good I game. Had I think he had a good game. It's just, I think I, I want more out of Rashford, so I'm giving him a seven. Oh. The reason why is because why he's in the box, we saw that. Yeah. Dancing around. Yes, great. You're a nutmeg man. You but nutmeg 30 Sometimes he, that over, over, that instant. Yeah, yeah, fucking like, shit. Yeah. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, eight. I'll give him an eight. I mean, I'm gonna give him an A too. I, I think we've seen a little bit. Rash had a little bit more attitude, a little bit more swagger today than we've seen in the past. 
I mean, he, he needs to get a thing where he holds the ball on too long and gets some shots up. But I think today, actually, uh, he had a little step up today that we haven't seen in the last couple of games. So I'll give him a... Mason. Mason. <laughs> That's the man. That's the man. I mean, you give that kid, you give that kid two feet, and he's getting shots on. Yes. Nine and a half. Whoa. Nine and a half. You give me a nine. nine. And a half. I mean, I know what you guys. He could have had four today. You got to score a hat trick to get a ten, or yeah, yeah. So, yeah, 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 nine, ten, I mean, nine and a half. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll do a nine. Man of the match. Uh, I mean, definitely did. Like for me, I I wish he was a little bit more selfish. That hat trick, I think, was on the play for him. But I understand. You know the thinking. I think he's more in the vein of what Rooney yeah. was, yeah. where it's like I got these two goals, uh, and like you were saying, he has this guy has a better position. Let me let me pass yeah. it to him. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. let's shot. quickly go to the subs. Cavani. I mean, I mean, wait, so you cut it in half, so it's a five <laughs> is like a ten now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cavani, Cavani for me, he's definitely a, he's definitely up there. He's a ten for me. Ten. All the work, all okay, the work he did we from, move along. We move all along. The, from, all the, from all the work he did from the half, <laughs> and, the and 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 the, the, the in forty five minutes he got ten. Whoa, I'm Just impressed with that. All day. Yeah, uh, Cavani. Ten, but I'll give him a I'll give him a nine. Because I mean, when he came on, everything was brilliant. I'm, everything I'm, was, I'm gonna give Cavani about eight and a half. But one thing I want to say, I want to give a yeah, ten, yeah, nine, eight. Yeah. The the marks okay. were. Right, right, right. <laughs> but, but, but here's what I would like to say. Socks if I was the coach, that. if right. I was the coach, this goes back to Mason. I would, I would try to create some offense where you set up the play to get Mason more one-on-ones with players. Yeah. Because I think one-on-one, he'll destroy any Anybody. player. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I would, I would literally try to set up my offense more to get him isolated with one-on-one. I mean, having a bull fit, you know, more midfielders or the fullback make an overlap or run. Because I think when you get a lot of things he. Cr- Mason one on one, one no one on one player can stop him. Right. And two, he will open up other players Absolutely. and more goals if we can isolate him, get him isolated one on one, and create that as our main offense. And I, I would really focus on that if I was the coach. Like we need to get him isolated one on one with fullbacks, and ever because I said to me it would just even create more for us. Yeah. Van der Beek. Van der Beek, as, as coming on, I would give Van der Beek. Yeah, was, I think he came on. I think he's a very positive player. I think he's going to get better for us. I think he, he just changed the game. He's unselfish and he wants to play. He's got a great attitude. I would give I'd give Vanderbeek a good eight and a half for being sub. I mean, I'll give him a seven just because he you know he came on late. You know he did his job. He did his thing. He got an assist. Every time he comes on as a sub, I think he plays well. I don't think he ever puts a foot wrong when he does play. Yeah. I know he gets you know, all he gets a lot of slack because he doesn't play him, but you know he's got to just work his way into the team and he'll yeah. get there. Uh, old Garrett, I think I'll take a, I'll do a seven as well. Okay. I uh, did put a foot wrong. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, that 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 Academy Award winning uh, oh, yeah. foul. Was oh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Very theoretical, right? Yeah. <laughs> they showed that like so, five times. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, substitution, tactics, and selection. What are you giving Ole today? Uh, as a whole? Yes. Uh, I'll give him. I mean, it's an eight. I'll give him an eight. I'll give him, I mean, why can't you give him a ten? He did everything that was right. You guys are so generous. With, no, I've got no, to say, saying, like, he no, knows no, how how hard no, this no, guy is. No, 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 he brought on the sub. He brought on and did the job. And we late. scored right away. I need, I need subs we at 60 right away. Away. Oh yeah, 60 that's the Sir Alex, 60, 65. But I mean, yeah, I, thank you. Yeah, I love that. I, I mean, you're he right. He made the right subs at the right time. I mean, honestly, I mean, for me, honestly, I mean, a great team selection today. I think for what we had the players available. To me, this is one of us. I mean, like we had talked about earlier, right. we would like to see a coach that's on the touchline, more involved, more less passive, more exactly, yeah, very passive, pushing and pushing and pushing. Up. But today, I think he brought Cavani on at the right time. That was a great call. Yeah, and that's and he made a call that's very uncharacteristic. The fact that he took Fred off. He took and, yeah, a and brought on an attacker. That's a big call. That's, that that's is a, a big call. call. And that's because a call. We've never seen that this season. Yes, right. yeah, that's a call he's never made before. No, he doesn't. Good yeah. Yes. Good observation. That's because that's, usually yeah. he leaves that on too long. And that that's when we were like, oh, is it Rash? Is it Greenwood coming off? And we're like, oh, and that's and, and, and I think that's an old school <laughs> United <laughs> thing. Like, listen. Like, listen. He knows where we're at in the season. Like, I need a, I, I need goal scorers. So, honestly, 
this might be one of his best substitute tactical game of the season for me. Right, it might be. Because actually, the takeoff of the only midfielder. For an attacker. Yes, it brought on Cavani straight up. Like, listen, this is what this game is. And he changed the game. Yeah, so I think, honestly, tactically, this is one of Ben, ben all, and I guess it was lower opposition, but guess what? That's what we've struggled against the most is lower oh, opposition. Very true. So, I honestly think tactically. Don't remind me. And substitute. I think this is all he's one of all his best games. He brought all offensive. Even when we were two, when we were just up two one. He didn't close the game down. The, the lads pushed forward. So yeah. I mean, honestly, what am I? I'm, I'm going to be. And he said we're being generous. But if you look at the <laughs> over the whole season, I mean, but if you look at the whole season, hold on. He's never taken that center mid off, the you know, holding mid, and put an offensive player on a straight forward. And, and and that was the difference. I mean, I mean, really, yeah. I think tactically. From the start to finish, this is one of his best games of the season. I know you don't sometimes give that to him because of the lower opposition, but I think but those are the teams we struggle against the it's most. The low blocks. These are this is the reason we're not. I mean, one point behind City because we've the games that have cost us West Brom, Sheffield. Those are the games that have cost us the most easy points that we should have picked up. Absolutely. And today he's like, you know what? I'm going offensive. I'm doing this. I'm bringing Cavani on. So to me, tactically, substitution wise. He got his spot on today. I'm give him a nine. Right. The whole team as a Hopefully unit today. I think he learned something today. The whole team as a unit. What are you going to grade the team today? Nine. I'll say eight. I'll give it a two. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but no, I would have <laughs> thrown this at you, bro. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I think it's, no, I'll, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely do a nine. No, I mean, we pushed. I, I mean, right. these are the Yeah, games. they didn't give up. It was because yeah, Burnley were not I'm easy. No, I know, and this, 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 these are the games that hurt us during the season. Of course, these are the games. That yeah, really, those, really those low block teams. Defense. But we showed yeah. something today that we no, haven't okay. showed against those teams. Right, right. You've heard it from the Vegas Man United team fans. They are telling you the player rate is what they gave the team who performed and destroyed Burnley three one. Soccer's like we like to watch. Thank you guys for watching our show. Give a like, smash a, a like on our videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Glory, glory. Yeah.